Nebraska Pet Rescue Volunteers Concerned with Dog Breeding Practices Volunteers from a Nebraska pet rescue are concerned by what they saw at a state-licensed breeder facility. A four-month-old puppy is in need of surgery. Pet rescuer Ray Tuff says the dog's name is Cash for good reason. The puppy's surgery will cost $6,000. A broken femur was discovered by Ray's vet three hours after she bought the dog for $280 from a Nebraska-licensed commercial breeder. It was a previous injury, and I'd like to see her basically closed or to a level she can handle. The Department of Ag is very lenient on her. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. While buying two puppies, the head of Grant's Wishes Pet Rescue and a friend took several photos around the Northeast Nebraska farmstead that is also a state-licensed dog breeder kennel. I was appalled, dog buyer Kathy Robertson said. The trash, the debris covering everything, puppies swarm your vehicle. That is not the sign of any professional breeder. Clips from a drone video show more of a corral than a kennel, and several dogs can be seen free to hang around. If they don't get the attention that they need, you end up with an adult feral dog and their life is euthanasia. A sheriff's deputy tells Six News he's been on the property several times, including once with a veterinarian and state ag inspector, but didn't find enough evidence for animal cruelty or neglect charges under the law. Concerned that cash isn't alone showing a lack of energy and development, Grant's Wishes Pet Rescue, which is licensed, has purchased six dogs from the breeder for a total of almost $1,800. I want them to go to good homes and find shelter, Ray Tuff said. Communicating by text, the breeder says all her dogs are excellent, and she's been in the business for seven years. She states she is against cages. The Nebraska Department of Agriculture will only say there is an ongoing investigation and an administrative hearing on the breeder's license is scheduled for late May.